Cool is a pursuit of youth. There is a fashion, it's a fashion link thing being cool. It's linked in a circle. You've got looking like a dickhead over here. Average looking. And a kind of cool, 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 hip and groovy looking like a dickhead. <laughs> I have been known to cruise in that back area. <laughs> I can walk down the street and get these opposite reactions. Now I go down and people go, hey, and we go, <laughs> and I go, <laughs> makes you feel really good but sick. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, and there's a, there was a look back in the 50s that was a matchstick out of the corner of your mouth. It was a sort of James Dean kind of era, and it was considered quite cool. Uh, and it's quite timeless as well. It, it just works. I don't know quite why. And you lean up against a wall and you have it there and, and you roll it around and occasionally pull it out and go, Hey, you kids. <laughs> you kids be cool. <laughs> Whoa, wanker. Who's he? <laughs> He's eating a match. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> It, it's the urban equivalent of the country kind of yokel character with the ear of corn out of his mouth, going, Hey, you kids, never suck the juice out of a tractor. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> a tractor. All the juice sucked out of it. <laughs> How do you mime a tractor that's had all the juice sucked out of it? <laughs> that's my one. Anyway, <laughs> just a thumbnail sketch. Um, yes, so... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, yeah. I just forgot again what I was talking about. Um, so one matchstick out of the corner of the mouth. Mm-hmm, quite cool. Second matchstick out of the, side, the other side of the mouth. <laughs> and you're looking like a dickhead, aren't you? <laughs> a third one in the front, it looks like your teeth are sliding out. Eye patches have a similar number problem. <laughs> One eye patch looking quite cool. Two eye patches. Hello. <laughs> Three eye patches. Now what's going on here? <laughs> Pirates and the kid at school with a lazy eye. They were the two groups that have eye patches. Right? Again, very disparate. I don't know how you do subsets with them, but anyway. And the lazy eye syndrome is you, got, you have one eager beaver eye going, ooh, look at that, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Another eye is going, hey, I'm in bed, I'm in bed, I'm in bed. <laughs> Just chill out, man. So, like, ooh, you're missing the best part of the day, oh, fuck. <laughs> so you put the eye patch over your lazy eye so you can have a snooze, yeah? <laughs> Long John Silver had an eye patch, quite cool. Also had a parrot on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wrong bird. He should have had a minor bird. Because parrots, they, they, they suffer from the, the beautiful plumage. They, they, they look, you know, because they have greens and yellows and reds, real vibrant colours that really kick out. And, and you go, oh, wow. But they look great and talk shine. <laughs> just go, oh, squawk. Pieces of eight, hello. A bird that says, pieces of eight, that's equivalent to a bird on your shoulder going, four pound fifty-three. Four pound fifty-three. Shut up, bird, shut up, don't say that. Four pound fifty-three, shut up. Stop talking prices. Yeah, stuff that minor birds are much better. They've got sleek black feathers and they sit on your shoulder and they say things like, Oh, look at that sunset. <laughs> if you've ever seen them in a pet shop, they, they want to get out of the pet shop. They hate being cooped up in there. They say things to get bored. People come in and say, Oh, nice shoes. <laughs> I like your haircut, you know. I think you're sexy. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a nice bird. Can I buy it? But be careful. You take minor birds home and they, they don't like it. They think they're getting their freedom once they've been bored. But you take them into a lounge and they get pissed off. They get sullen. And you have people around and they go, oh, they hate you. <laughs> what was that, minor bird? You heard me. <laughs> they hate you. They put poison in your coffee. <laughs> There's a pig under the table with a gun. I control them through this cuttlefish here. Because <laughs> birds fly and we have aeroplanes. That's the deal. But no one's put a flying bird, a bird that can fly, into an aeroplane. I mean, it'd be amazing because it wouldn't be flying, but it'd be flying. <laughs> I'm buying a bird in a 747. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Pues ya sé. Flying very fast, of course. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm not flying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, white wine. <laughs> Hanging on to the side. <laughs> I haven't got fingers. Could you cut this up, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. 